And welcome in to a special edition Blue Streaks Halftime Show interview. I'm your sports director, Logan Petoskey, and joining me here in the studio is a very special guest. He's a guard on the John Carroll men's basketball team. It is my pleasure to introduce junior Connor O'Toole. Connor, thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for having me, Logan. I'm excited to be here. Absolutely, man. So right before we kind of talk about your journey here at John Carroll, just going to talk about your time right before that. So you played high school basketball at Gilmore Academy here in Northeast Ohio, very close here to John Carroll University. And also both of your parents went here to John Carroll. So I know you maybe had that family tie. Your uh, older brother, Owen, also played basketball here. Why ultimately did he decide on JCU? Like you said, obviously it's a bunch of family ties here to John Carroll. My brother was here on the team. Both mom and dad went here at it just felt like home when I visited. Just being around it, it, it reminded me a lot of Gilmore. It just felt like home. It was definitely the right decision for me. And I know there's kind of that family legacy as well. So again, your brother Owen played on the team up through last season, and your dad also played basketball at John Carroll. What does it mean to be carrying on that family legacy here at the Blue and Gold? It definitely means a lot. It's um, just it's. I think it's unique. I don't know how many people go through the program and have both a dad and a brother that played on the team. So being able to carry on that legacy is pretty cool. I think probably the closest you might have is Luke Chacon. You got all of his uncles coaching, yes. and then his mom played here, grandfather coached here. But, yeah, it's certainly lots of family ties, and that's just been great to see on your guys' team this season. Speaking of those close ties, a lot of connections in the AAU days. So I think this was back, like, what, elementary, middle school. There was a team, I saw you posted a picture on Instagram a while back. It was you, Luke Chacon, Luke Frazier, Chase Toppin, and Luca Eller, all on the same AAU team, just as kids. Now you're all together here at John Carroll. Just what does that mean to you, being able to play with these guys that you played with so long ago now in college? We always talk about it. It's it's really like a dream come true. If you would have told us in fifth, sixth grade that we'd all be together in college, best friends playing together, sharing the court together, we we all would have said sign us up right there and then. And um, obviously a bunch of us went our own separate ways, but we all ended up finding our home here at John Carroll. And I think those ties kind of is what brought everything together is we all have played together. We all had great friendships and those friendships has lasted since fifth, sixth grade. And now being back all together, it's, it really is a dream come true. We love it. And that's certainly great to hear. You guys are certainly looking like you're having a lot of fun out there, a lot of success this season. Just talking about your season more specifically. So I know last season, a little bit more of a prominent role, like in terms of handling the ball, scoring, you averaged over eight points a game last year. This season, you are one of just three players on the team to be starting in every game this season. You started each of the first 23. I know the stats don't tell the story for me. I know the stats say you're averaging about two points, two rebounds a game, but you've been setting lots of great screens, just hustling all over the floor. And again, you're just one of three players that coaches started in every game this season. What's been working well for you, and how have you adjusted to perhaps maybe just a bit of a role change from last season? So Yeah, absolutely. With new guys coming in, everyone's going to have to have a new role. It's the nature of the game. That's how it is. And I think I'm very unique in my role from the standpoint of I look at myself as more like a coach on the floor. I know I can help the guys get in the right positions and find guys like Luke and Luke who are dynamic scorers and Chase, get them the ball in space and let them do what they do best. And that's get downhill and score the basketball. So I feel just like my IQ is definitely something that helps me out there on the court and also help these other guys to help create space for them and help them do what they do best. So sounds kind of more like that floor general type of role overseeing everything and now just talking about the team more specifically you guys are on a very hot streak right now 21 and 2 through 23 games this season 15 and 1 in the OAC a 13 game winning streak you guys control your own destiny in the conference in the latest region 7 rankings you guys are ranked number two just behind fellow OAC foe Mount Union what does the team need to do with just two regular season games left to keep the momentum on a roll and earn home court advantage throughout the OAC tournament I think the biggest thing is just focusing one game at a time. Obviously, this time of year, everyone's looking at down the road. They want to, who are we playing here? Who could we play here? When and where? And I think the most important thing is just taking it one game at a time. And obviously, in the OAC, it's as tough a conference as it comes in Division Three. Anyone can beat anyone. So you got to bring it every single night. We can't overlook anyone, and we got to take it one game at a time. So our main focus is obviously BW for tonight. Absolutely. And a close game you guys had a while back with them, 96-91. Luke Frazier in that one with 36 points put on a terrific performance and the entire team getting the job done then. Our guest on this Blue Streaks Halftime Show interview is John Carroll guard Connor O'Toole. So we've talked plenty about 
what's going on on the basketball court. Just going to go a little bit off of there. So you're currently RA Junior here at John Carroll, and you're planning a major in accounting. I know it's a bit later in the college journey for you. Any potential plans in mind for once your time at John Carroll is complete? Um, not necessarily yet. I um, have an internship for this summer at EY, which I'm very excited about. Um, obviously, with COVID, it's a little different for the guys in my grade and the grade above me. We have that extra COVID year. Um, that will kind of depend on, obviously, my accounting. I need to get to 150 credits, I believe, for the CPA. So could be another year for that fifth year COVID year, but time will only tell with that. Got it. Certainly best of luck to you with everything on that front. And what do you enjoy doing? Because I know we've talked about you guys really having fun on the court as a team. What do you enjoy doing when you're not on the basketball court? Um, definitely, like I, I talked about earlier, it's like a dream come true for all our friends to be back together. And I try not to take it for granted. Like just being with those guys, this is something that not many people get to experience. So kind of just enjoying that time together with those guys that I grew up with. Because obviously the past few years, we haven't had that at all, even once we got into high school. So it's been a while since we've all been able to kind of be together and kind of taking advantage of that time that we have now and making sure I'm not uh, taking it for granted. And just talking with a couple of your teammates earlier this season, I've heard it's like the two houses, right? You got five in one house, five in another. I know the house you're in, everybody's been at John Carroll the whole way. So how's that dynamic kind of been? And, you know, kind of showing the new guys what it takes to be a blue streak, that kind of thing? Yeah, absolutely. So our house is um, all guys that have been there. We've had that house since my freshman year. Um, and then we call it the, the transfer house. So the Bushnell house is the transfer <laughs> house. And then the uh, Washington house is all the returning guys. So sometimes it causes some fights over which house we're going to. Um, <laughs> the Bushnell house now has a dog, so they win most of the That's battles. Right. So a lot of times we'll go over to C-Max. So. There Bush know more than Washington, I would say. So close ties still off the basketball court for the team. So just going to kind of transition into our final segment here. Connor, do want to thank you once again for taking the time to be with us. It's called Fast Favorites. I do this in every interview I've done this season. It's just five categories. You just give me your five favorites in each. All righty. All right. Sounds good. First up, what is your favorite food? Favorite food? I have to go steak. I can't tell you how many times I've heard it over <laughs> both teams, men's and women's, throughout the season, you know. I've been saying it. I think you really should make a case. A steak dinner, both teams, because I know both coaches are really into cooking. We should. It would be great. Everyone would enjoy it for sure. That's awesome. Your favorite show? Favorite show? I'd have to say, ooh, that's a tough one. I have a lot. Um, I'll go The Office. Classic. Your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Um, Ooh, I'm going to need to think, well, this isn't really fast favorites here. If I'm <laughs> um, we will go, I'll go The Greatest Showman. Okay. I like okay. the music behind it. It's a family favorite too. There you go. Your favorite music artist? Music artist, Morgan Wallen. Going to see him in concert this summer. Favorite. And you know what? Just talking again with some of your teammates, I've heard that you're a big country guy. I, I know am. some of the guys really not quite on board. You trying to move some of them over I'm, a little bit? I'm working on a few of them. They're uh, they're coming along, but there's a few of us that really like it, and there's a few that uh, don't love when I take over the music in the <laughs> locker room, but we're working on them. They're getting there. I mean, hey, if it's leading to wins. Absolutely. There you go. <laughs> and finally, your favorite all-time basketball player? Favorite all-time basketball player would have to be currently Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic, just a dynamic player, and you know that Dallas Mavericks team just got Kyrie Irving Absolutely. in the fold. That's going to be a pretty good backcourt that they've got on their hands right now. It's going to be interesting in the West for sure. Certainly so. Well, uh, Connor, that's just about all the time we have. Do want to thank you once again for taking the time, and best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you for having me. For sure. That was John Carroll guard Connor O'Toole here on the Blue Streaks Halftime Show. And coming up, the rest of tonight's coverage of our matchup between your D3Hoops.com, six-ranked John Carroll Blue Streaks, and the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets. Right here on your home for the Blue Streaks, WJCU. Dot org.